Today I'm going to talk about where is your power steering fluid? Now in most older cars, you just find a power steering pump belt. There's a power steering pump is down there and the reservoir is somewhere near it. Here it is and the fluid's inside there. This one was easy to find because the power steering reservoir where you check the fluid is right on top of the power steering pump. Now some cars have what's called a remote reservoir. The pump will be where the belt is and then if you follow the top of the power steering pump there will be a long hose and it will go to a remote reservoir usually somewhere near the fender or the firewall but it's still pretty easy to figure out. And the older ones are real easy to check. They had a dipstick and it's cold here because it's cold outside and if you check it when it's hot the other side had a hot side and it could be between the top and the bottom when it's full. And the old ones are also cool because they even told you what kind of fluid. Here it says use Dextron type automatic transmission fluid. Filled the proper level. Told you everything you needed to know. Now over the years people have asked me, hey should I change my power steering fluid? And the answer is, if you keep your cars for decades like I do, yes. And here's why. Power steering pumps are hydraulic pumps. Some of these things will put out 15, 1600 pounds per square inch pressure. That's an awful lot of pressure. So over the years, the fluid's going to get dirty. Dirty fluid has more friction. It actually becomes somewhat abrasive. It can ruin the seals in the pump, on the rack, and those things can cost a lot of money to replace. But I've been a good boy and I change my power steering fluid out every four or five years. My old Celicon, look, it's got 239,000 miles, has the original power steering pump, rack, and hoses. And in most cases the fluid is pretty cheap. You can just do it yourself with a turkey baster, suck it out of the reservoir, and drive around the block, and then suck it out again, and change the fluid five or six times in a row like that, and you'll get most of the dirty stuff out. But in many really modern cars, you're going to have a really hard time finding where to put the power steering fluid in. Because in some modern cars like this Mustang, they no longer have hydraulic power steering pumps. And if you look at the front of the engine, you'll see there's a fan belt. It runs the water pump, it runs the alternator, and it runs the air conditioner, but there's no power steering pump. And that's because it has electric power steering that further gets you better gas mileage and more power. As you can see in this diagram, electronic power steering, you still turn the wheel and it goes to the steering rack that turns the wheels, but the assist is done by an electric motor assembly. The picture is right here. It uses an electronic motor to give you extra power so you don't have to turn the wheel so hard. And you make steering feel normal, sport, or comfort. Since it has electric power steering, the computer can adjust it lots of ways. So before you lose your mind looking for your power steering fluid, check to see if you got electronic power steering first because you might not have any fluid. But if you do have fluid, now you know how to check it, how to change it, so your system won't break down and cost you a fortune in repairs. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late.